The Soviet Mission to Venus – What We Discovered Venus has been compared to Earth due to its similarity in size, but in all other respects, the differences could not be more pronounced. Venus has an atmosphere of sulfuric acid and carbon dioxide, which produces a greenhouse gas effect and makes it the hottest planet in the solar system. Despite these obstacles, Soviets were able to land there, and what they have discovered has shocked us. So stay tuned to find out what exactly these discoveries are. Please consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like these. Soviets were able to land on the surface of Venus and were able to get some diagnostic material, despite several failed attempts before it. The data has surprised scientists to this day. More data was provided by NASA's Park Solar Probe in 2020, through its wide field imager, which captured the night side of Venus. These images were later compiled by NASA to produce a video. The video indicates that there is a faint glow emanating from the planet's surface. The glow shows outlines of the regions, plains, and plateaus on the surface. Scientists were not very optimistic about getting details of the planet's topography, since the clouds containing sulfuric acid and carbon dioxide are quite difficult to penetrate. One of the reasons why the surface of Venus glows, according to scientists, is the extremely hot temperature of the planet. Due to this increasingly hot temperature, the planet seems like a piece of iron pulled from a forge. After several attempts, it was Venera 4 and 6, which was able to relay important information about the planet's atmosphere. One of the important findings from these probes showed that the acidic clouds had three distinct layers and had enveloped Venus. In 1970, Venera 7 became the first probe to land on the planet. This probe had a very powerful cooling system, which allowed it to operate in Venus's hellish environment for 23 minutes. The probe transmitted geological findings on the temperature, pressure, and atmosphere density to Earth. Around the same time period, NASA was not lagging behind. In fact, the Mariner 2, a probe designed to study Venus, was launched in 1962. The probe gave us a look inside the red-hot planet. Early readings from the probe suggested that the planet's temperature was as much as 900 degrees Fahrenheit. In addition, the atmosphere consisted of sulfuric acid, and the atmospheric pressure was nine times greater than that of Earth. The first close-up image of Venus was obtained by Mariner 10 in 1974. The image was edited to reveal how the acidic clouds would seem to the human eye. The Venera 9 and 10 produced images from the planet's surface, from a specially designed compartment which housed the telescope and the camera system. The cameras on the Venera probes could not produce a detailed image, since colored cameras could not have tolerated the harsh climatic conditions of Venus. The images, however, were good enough to paint a picture of a planet, which had an eerie similarity to Earth in terms of size, but was located almost 61 million kilometers away. Venera 9 showed terrain filled with rocks, and Venera 10 showed traces of frozen lava flows. The Venera 14 spacecraft remained functional on Venus's surface for almost an hour. It produced some excellent pictures and was able to relay some important information back home, since the sensors were located in a tightly sealed titanium case. The sensors were cooled down significantly before the probe landed on the planet, so that these devices remained functional as the probe touched down. The cameras housed inside these Venera probes were able to produce colored images of the planet. The stunning, colorful panoramic view was quite a hit with scientists and the average space enthusiast. The images showed the formation of rocks surrounded by dark and shallow soil. In the somewhat harrowing landscape, some bizarre features could also be observed. A team of scientists from the Space Research Institute of the Russian Academy of Scientists had earlier suggested that these bizarre features could signal the remains of a civilization. Some of the details captured by the camera resembled a disc, a black cloth, and a scorpion. These objects were in focus for a short interval of time, and then disappeared. Scientists later found out that these images contained parts of the probe, which had fallen off during the process of landing. The Magellan spacecraft also gave us some memorable pictures of Venus. These pictures showed colder volcanoes on the planet, impact craters, and some incredibly high mountains. The tallest of these mountains, called the Maxwell Montes, is about 11 kilometers high, which is taller than the highest mountain, Mount Everest, on Earth. There are some very interesting images, too. For instance, in the Esla region of Venus, we can make a volcanic edifice which is almost 66 kilometers across the base. The entire surface of the volcanic edifice is covered with bizarre lines, which are typical of Venus only. Almost at the center of the plant, there is a large circular structure which has been called Corona of Volcanic Formation. This region is about 200 kilometers in diameter. All these different regions, including different pancake domes, indicate that the planet is very active. In fact, the tectonic plates are still very active in the depths of Venus and continue to throw lava on the surface. The surface temperatures of the planet limit the possibility of life. However, scientists have speculated that microbes can survive in the thick clouds surrounding Venus. 
these clouds have a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius, which can house life. Scientists are looking for microbes in Venus's clouds. However, we need to know more about this planet, and da Vinci as well, as the Veritas missions are NASA's latest efforts in doing just that. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.